Okay, I just put my kitchen window on and um, outside this moth was attracted to it. I've never seen one like this. It's almost the size of a butterfly. I'll try and get you a shot of it. It's lying on its back at the moment. Look at that. Can anybody tell me what kind of moth this is? Two kind of brownish lines on its wings and it's a pale yellowy white colour. Oh look, and you've got a couple of dots on its lower wing at the end. I've certainly never seen a moth like this before in my garden. Oh, what a beauty though. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Obviously, it's, I've put it in a glass jar. I had to catch it in a glass jar so that I could get this video. I'll let it go, obviously. It's looking right at me, isn't it? Look at it. Can you hear me? What a beauty. Um, I'm going to take the risk of taking the lid off this jar. It's in a coffee jar. Hopefully the moth won't escape. And I'll try and therefore film down the top of the, the jar with the camcorder. Right, hold on a second. This could all go very wrong. And I end up having to catch this moth in my living room. Oh, God. Yeah, this could all go very wrong very quick. Let me tilt the jar up to try and get it to go near the top. No, oh, this is probably... Oh, yeah, it nearly got out then. <laughs> I need it to chill out for a second before I can do it. It's going mental at the moment. I need a... All right, let's just take the rest of it. Let's see what I want. I'll try and use my hands around the top of the jar. I've got less space to go. And then I can try and get a shot. Oof. There you go. So I'm not filming through glass anymore, but then again, I haven't got much of a shot. It's gone right up to the top. Go down. Stay still. Just wanted to get a shot of it, not impeded by glass, but oh, look at that. Wow. Incredible insect. Uh, let me see if I can hold it up to some light, get some more light on it. Might should get it to move, I would have thought. Oh, yeah. It's hiding. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me get a couple of seconds. Ah, oh, I knew it would move. There we go. So there you go. That's that should be enough for somebody clever to identify someone that's into insects. Obviously, I'll stick a link to this on a few Facebook groups I'm in that are to do with insects. Um, yeah, I mean, I live in Cambridge. That's any help. But and I said um, I've never seen one in my garden in my life. No, one's never come onto my window like this. I've, I've got yellow underwing moths down the end of my garden at the moment. This is not that. Um, oh, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. That's six times in there. Probably. I can't tell if it's in focus or not. Because it's slightly slightly fluffy. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, Ooh, it nearly got out then. Yeah, it's just so hard to, it, you know, I want to get a shot. Well, you had your, your shot, you'll, you'll just have to pause the video at the right point to get that shot with its wings open like it just almost did then. Uh, I would say it's about the size of a small white butterfly uh, or a small tortoise shell. It's that kind of size. It's the size of a, a butterfly, really. Well, 
I'm pretty sure it's a moth, not a moth. Right, I'm going to go and let this go now. What a beautiful moth. I do hope somebody can identify this, because I've never seen one before. I just don't want to start filming it. I want to try and get... There we go, look at that. That's the underside. That's about as good a shot of the underside as you're going to get. It's absolutely beautiful. Right, okay, I'm going to let it go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.